Hey, what up guys? Daisy here again with more Mass Effect 3, you already know. <laughs> of course, you wouldn't be here if you wasn't wanting to watch Mass Effect 3, right? And last time we finished up the first, like, actual mission of the game on Mars and got access to pretty much free roam the Normandy, the newly converted Alliance ship. And I didn't really explain that. Here's the war assets. Uh, it's pretty much the goal of the game. <laughs> you want to get this up as high as possible. And I already have 900 and, <coughs> excuse me, I have 975, uh, what, military strength already. And a lot of that is from the multiplayer, 375 of it comes from the multiplayer and everything else is just kind of handed to you. So yeah, there is that. <clears throat> and I think the absolute minimum that you can go into the final mission with is 2,000, so, or maybe it's 2,500. So yeah, I'm already like halfway there, but I'm going to try to complete all the missions if I can. We'll see how that goes. And this time, I'm going to want to be uh Okay. This time I'm going to be going to Thessy, I believe, the uh Turian homeworld and see what's going on over there cuz they're kind of getting hit by the reapers in a similar fashion that earth got hit and the turians refu refused to give uh the alliance or whatever help until we <laughs> help out on their homeworld and real quick i want to go down here this is the armor locker you can change how shepherd looks and whatnot let's see how do i want him to look no thank you i'll go pattern two and Eh, this doesn't really con concern me that much. I'll go blue stripe and white lights and uh, that should be good. Yeah. Later on I'll have different uh, things <laughs> uh, that I could use. Like different pieces of armor, that's what I'm trying to think of. And I'll go with this. And <clears throat> different armor will make you have different stats. The N7 armor gives you nothing but HP, but I'm going to be going for power damage and power recharge speed because I'm playing an adept, and adepts use powers. And right here is the uh, it's the Alliance shop. You can visit every shop that you've actually been to so far. So. There's that. <laughs> uh, probably want to buy this real quick. The thing, the downside to it, as you can see right there, it, there's a 10% markup. So it, it'll cost 10% more than it would with a uh, if you bought it at the actual shop. So I'm going to be buying those two and... Uh, yeah, I'll buy the pistol mod. We'll see... I think I'm going to start carrying pistol and some machine gun instead of only the assault rifle because if I have one of each instead of only the assault rifle uh, I could have more max ammo and more type coverage if that makes any sense uh, so hmm nah I think actually just buying the Avenger would be a better uh, use of my money and there we go got the Avenger all maxed out gonna go and put a few point or buy a few upgrades of the Predator and we're good there and over here on the weapon bench did not really explain this last time we can uh, upgrade stuff hip hip hooray the like you can't really upgrade stuff but you can place weapon mods that's what I'm trying to say and I only have one weapon mod for the assault rifle right now, and that increases my rounds per magazine by 40%. So, I'm gonna slap that on there. And you'll find these lying around on certain missions. You'll see what I mean when the time comes. But I actually could. I'm pretty sure I can carry this with no penalty whatsoever. Yep, I sure can. So, I can carry both of these, and my power recharge speed is still at 200%. Still a max, because the Avenger doesn't weigh hardly anything at all. And I placed that weapon mod on the shirk and making it way less, so 
I'm not sacrificing any power recharge speed whatsoever, and I can carry two weapons instead of just the one, even though the, I think the submachine gun is, like, absolute crap. Which it is. <laughs> anyway, I, I can carry both of them, though, so might as well. If I run out of ammo or something on the Avenger, then I can switch over to the Shuriken, and it's there for backup. I have a new message at my private terminal. And special ops. Eh. Yeah, he's just telling me about different missions, and this right here is like uh, the multiplayer for every time you get a multiplayer multiplayer character to level 20 and then hit like the prestige mode button I think it's called promote it sends them on over to single player and it gives you an extra 75 an extra 75 uh, military strength that's what I'm trying to say and once that's the Cerberus lab that is a side mission I don't think I want to do that right now I want to rescue the Turian Primarch continue the main storyline yeah, so I'm not certain what order I'm going to do these in. I think I'll probably mix it up. The Normandy is equipped with blah, blah, blah. It's just telling you about, uh, like, if you hit, what, left trigger? Yeah, it does that. And it sends out little signal waves that kind of searches for uh, minerals. It's like a much faster version of the Mass Effect 2 system, which sucked. I don't think anyone liked that. Liked to do <laughs> mine on my on Mass Effect 2. And squad selection. Like I have much of a choice right now. <laughs> and there it there is something to do with their uh the clothes they wear. See if I switch over to this, she gets power recharge speed on the armor bonus instead of power damage. And he can go from shields to weapon damage. And I'll probably just go with weapon damage. And we're good to go. Finally, uh, actually off the Normandy, and I'm no longer rambling like seven minutes in. My bad. And yes, I've already went through this. I'm gonna place weapon mods on these guys. Did I? Did I miss this or something? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I should have uh, picked up the katana by now. I think I missed it. I'm gonna place a weapon mod on the katana that doesn't exist. And I do not have enough points for bi the next Biotic Mastery, so that is a bit upsetting. Yep, I'm going to be saving that. I do have points for, like, uh, Bruce Squat Thrust over here. Going to be giving him more weapon damage and more health and shield bonuses. Because he gets a lot of health and shield bonuses. And don't have enough for that, so we're good. Ready to get this shiz on the road. And, as always, long load screen, sad day. An abnormally long load screen. <laughs> there we go. About time. Surprising. Trying to fight the Reapers head on doesn't work. What do you know? And being the sly devils that we are, just sneak right on by all that fighting. getting decimated. Strongest military in the galaxy and the Reapers are obliterating it. Yeah, you know how it is. Is it like this on Earth? Yes. Shepard, 
I'm so sorry. Yeah. Commander, the LZ's getting swarmed. James, open that hatch. Clear landing zone. Pew, 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 pew. pew. And do one of those. I don't. I don't know how much it actually matters. Let me off, please. Thank you. Got a bunch of husks. I don't like that. But shouldn't be anything big. Gonna carnage them. There you go. Stasis warp. Boom. That's pretty much how uh, this works with husks. The Adept class will absolutely destroy the husks all day, air day. Look at that. There he goes. <laughs> Anything without shields, especially uh, husks, because they can't actually shoot at you at any. Anything without shields will pretty much get absolutely destroyed by an Adept. Because you just uh, pull them up in the air, use singularity or stasis, and then they can't do anything. They're just, they're just forced to sit there. And let's see, I'm pretty sure there's a weapon. Okay, drag me into the cutscene. <laughs> pretty sure there's a weapon line around this camp somewhere. So, once I get out of this cutscene, I'll go check that out. Sir. General? Commander Shepard. Heard you were coming, but I didn't believe it. General Corinthus. I've come to get Primarch Fedorian. Primarch Fedorian is dead. His shuttle was shot down an hour ago as it tried to leave the moon. Well, that's a day ruiner. That's gonna come. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm sorry. I hear he was a good man. And a friend. He would have been an outstanding diplomat. So what happens now? The Turian hierarchy provides very clear lines of succession. Right. General Corinthus? With such heavy casualties, it's hard for me to be certain who the next Primarch is. Palavan Command will know. However, at the moment, contacting them is impossible. The comm tower is out. Husks are swarming that area. We can't get close enough to repair it. Don't worry, General. I'll get you I got this, bro. Thank you, Commander. I'll take care of things on this Don't end. worry about it. Alright, let's go. And, oh, <laughs> helmet's back on. I do not want her using the shuriken. Can he even switch to the katana? I see the comm tower to the left I didn't. of the main barricade in front of. I don't even have a katana. How can he? How can he now, use the katana if I never picked go. that weapon up? Oh, there's a weapon. That's what I was thinking of. M97 Viper, a sniper rifle I won't ever use. And data pad. Nope, nothing. Just information. Don't care about that. Got a. Explore around here, but I don't want to miss anything. I could use every last bit of help that I can get. Pistol piercing mod. Okay, I'll take it. Weapon bench. Eh, no, thank you. Can I? Thank you. <laughs> I hate getting stuck on things. Is there any? Uh, I don't care. Uh, nope. So where am I supposed to head? Okay, thank you. Oh, uh, destination arrow. Never failed me. And now I head over there. Over to the tower. If it's only husks in this area, I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna, like, absolutely storm through this. Okay. Whatever, bro. I'm not scared of any husks. There's cannibals that might complicate things, but... Only husks? No problem. Look at that. No chance. And any more? Of course we have more. Okay, I aimed that at the ground apparently. And don't even need to use bullets. Carn gem, kaboom. Is that it? Alright. Can I not? What's the deal? Um Yeah. Okay. <laughs> apparently I had to do the five second roll with this thing or something. <laughs> 